One of the types of training collars we use are called head collars. There's various types of head collars. This one we're going to talk about is called a halty. Um, the halty fits similar to a halter on a horse where the dog's muzzle goes through here. It sort of sits loosely on this type of collar. Um, the leash will attach on this ring down here and this strap is going to buckle on the dog's neck high up behind the ears. This piece that we have down here is a safety. So this is going to attach directly to your dog's collar, um, a martingale or a flat buckle collar that your dog will be wearing. And it acts as a safety in case um, this is fit on improperly when you put it on or if it slips off for some reason while you're walking the dog, then it'll catch on the, on the buckle collar and you don't have your dog running loose um, in the street. As with any training collar, there are pros and cons you want to consider. One of the pros of the Holti is that even very large or strong dogs are fairly easy to manage. It's also a gentle correction as it's just applying pressure over the nose. It's a great choice for dogs with sensitive tracheas. Some of the cons you want to consider with the Holti are if you have a dog who's an excessive lunger, the constant twisting of the neck can cause severe damage. Another consideration is that it does take a fair amount of desensitizing to get the dog accustomed to wearing the collar compared to the other training collars that we might use. So this is what the collar looks like when it's fit properly on your dog. You want to make sure the neck strap is high up on the neck behind the dog's ears and that you have the safety for the halty connected to your dog's buckle or martingale collar. Make sure the buckle or martingale is fit snug enough that it does not slip over the dog's neck. Your leash is attaching to the ring that's right underneath the chin. Good boy. You don't want to just put the collar on your dog and start working. This is a collar that you're going to have to start desensitizing before you can work with it. The first step in desensitizing your dog to the Holti is to have him reach his nose through the loop. When you're holding the collar for the first step, you want to hold the neck strap with the nose strap so there's just one loop for your dog to reach through. You're going to hold the treat through the loop and have give your dog a treat for reaching for the loop. Good boy. Good boy. Remember to start with your hand reaching through the loop and your dog just approaching the collar to get the treat. As he gets more comfortable with it, we're going to make him reach through further and further. Good boy. Good boy. You don't want to reach toward your dog with the collar, but instead your goal is to have your dog come through the collar on their own. Good boy. Once your dog's reliably reaching through the nose loop for the treat, you can start to name the command. You can use the word collar or get dressed. You're going to use the word before you present the treat for the dog to reach his nose through the collar. Dawson, get dressed. Good boy. <laughs> Dawson, get dressed. Good boy. Get dressed. Good boy. Get dressed. Good boy. The next step is to desensitize your dog to having the neck strap on. So we're going to start out by having the two loops together, the neck loop over the nose loop. And as your dog reaches through, you're just going to move the neck loop just a little bit over their head and to, in order to get the treat. As they get more comfortable with it, you can move the loop further and further until it's over the dog's ears. Dawson, get dressed. Good boy. Dawson, get dressed. Good boy. Get dressed. Good boy. Get dressed. Good boy. The next step is to be able to adjust the neck strap to the proper size. You want to make sure the collars fit tight enough that you can only get your two fingers between your dog's neck and the neck loop. Dawson, get dressed. Good boy. Once the dog is fully accustomed to wearing the collar, you can switch to being able to buckle it around the dog's neck. Dawson, get dressed. Good boy. Make sure you don't forget to buckle your safety collar. Good. Now that your dog's accustomed to putting the halty collar on, you want to start working with them on getting comfortable wearing it for longer periods of time. 
You can use treats to distract them and put them in a sit position or down, simple commands that they already know. If they start pawing at the collar, you're just going to use the treats to redirect their attention. When using the halty with your dog, you're still going to hold the leash in the same manner. Instead of using the leash pump technique, we're going to be using steady pressure to guide the dog in the direction you want to go. In the beginning, they may toss their head around a bit as soon as they feel the pressure. You can use a treat to lure them with you and reward them as they keep moving. Good girl. Nadia. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Nadia, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Nadia. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Nadia. Good girl. You want to work on short sessions and build up for longer periods of time.